As election day nears, we here at 41 NBC want to keep you informed and let you know where the candidates stand on the issues that matter most to you. Today we're joined by State Senate District 26 candidate David Lucas. Mr. Lucas, thank you so much for joining us today. Pledges my eyes. Well, you know, political experience aside, what will voters get if they send you back up to Atlanta to represent District 26? Well, for those in, in the Macon area, they will know exactly what's going on. You, you won't have any local bills coming back and nobody knows what's in it but a certain few folks. Everybody will know what's in it so they'll get a chance to have some discussion on it. As far as part of the other district, it, it's new. Outside of Twiggs and Wilkerson County, now you have Hancock, uh, part of Jones, and Washington County. Uh, Hancock County has a very serious problem dealing with uh, medical facilities. 39% uh, of the folks in Hancock County who have heart attack or stroke die because there's no way to stabilize that person to get them able to be able to transport into a, a medical facility, which would be Augusta 72 miles one way or to Macon 52 miles the other way. So what would you plan to do to maybe help resolve that issue in Hancock County for those residents? Well, we're working on it. I, I mean, you've got to find the funds. You, you know, the, the Hancock County probably is one of the poorest counties in, in the state of Georgia based on st statistical information that we have at, at the state of Georgia. So how can you talk about an industry coming uh, doing any kind of, especially it's like machinery or something, and somebody has an accident in the factory and you have no way to take care of those uh, people. So, I mean, you, you have to look at health care. I mean, that was probably one of the biggest things that President Obama did do was, was health care. And, you know, the Supreme Court ruled that you could. And what they said is you can't make folks get it, but you can. The, the, the federal government has the right to tax folks. And therefore, they were being taxed if you had the income to do it and, and you didn't purchase insurance. Now, overall in District 26, there's a lot of different types of counties that you cover. So it, briefly tell us, you know, encompassing all of them together, what would be one big issue that's facing all of the people in the district? That well, you're I, think, I think jobs. But, and I think we've, we have something right now that the people in the Mill George community have been talking about, and that's G-Ramp. That's at the uh, Robbins Air Force Base. But one of the problems at, at Robbins Air Force Base, there is no more ramp space. Mm -hmm. And when I say ramp space, there's no place else to park an airplane. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, you that you need to develop about 25 acres. Now, what will it cost you to develop that 25 acres? Uh, roughly about $90 million. And what does that mean? Bases operate on missions. Mm -hmm. So the more missions you have, the more likely that you won't have to worry about being closed by BRAC. So what we've got to do is create more missions for Robbins Air Force Base, and the only way you can do that is to uh, bring in, well, not bring in, but have more space that is developed so that they can bring in more missions in the aerospace uh, industry. All right, well, Mr. Lucas, I hate to cut you off, but yeah. unfortunately that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for coming Thank on the you. show. And remember, 41NBC is your best place to get election information and to meet the candidates leading up to Election Day. You can watch the interview with Mr. Lucas's opponent, Bobby Gale, and others in the Decision 2012 section of our website, 41NBC.com.